Hey, party people. You join us for our first episode of ASC TV in my mom's gorgeous backyard. I'm Jorge, and this is the Edutij EIM 001 I microphone. So this microphone is sensitive. It's also very super tiny. Very, very super tiny. Yeah, easy to get lost, but it comes with this great package. Good material. It's not cheap plastic. And I bought the uh, ESL cable. We'll go into that. But uh, I keep it on there and put it away when I'm not using it so I don't lose it because it can get lost pretty easily. Okay, so the iMicrophone is a incredibly high sensitivity 3.5 four pool omnidirectional condenser microphone for your mobile phone. Uh, if you're looking for the one for the Hero, that's going to be the ETM series. Uh, these are the EIM series microphones. And this particular one is compatible with all the iPhones, of course, uh, from 3GS to the 6. And then the iPods Touch and Classic and Nano. And then for the MacBook Pro and Air. And of course, my fellow Android users, I would never leave you out. This definitely works with Android. I use the Samsung Galaxy series phones. No problems. For you BlackBerry users, of course, uh, it'll work for your phone also. However, if you have a BlackBerry, we're going to need to talk. So some of the features are incredibly high sensitivity, compact design, premium windscreen included. We're going to talk about that one. And its specification is... Um, Sensitivity, negative 22 dB, frequency at 50 to 18,000 hertz. So it does come with a premium windscreen in the packaging. Not the best, especially for outdoor use. Uh, I do recommend going with the EWS-004 furry windscreen. It comes in gray, black, and white. And it is the standard jack, 3.5 millimeter. It just goes into you know your standard auxiliary jack on your phone. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased the SmartLine ESL001 four-pool microphone extension cable. Um, the cool thing, the reason why I got it is because it's a lapel mic, so it's got the clip. And then it also has the uh, volume control on it. Um, you want to check that, though, if you get this and use it on your mic. Because there's been a couple times where I started recording, said a whole thing, then realized the volume level was on zero, and recorded absolutely nothing, no audio. And had to do it all over again, and it kind of sucked. And it happened to me twice, but... I'm forgetful, so it might not happen to you. The other thing, kind of a drawback, is it's only 4.3 feet. So it's really not that long, so if you connect to your phone and stretch it out, you can't go too far without the cable being inside the, the video. Um, but if you're going to have the phone close to you, it works great. And it does come with a, a jack to put in your headphones, so you can hear what you're saying. Also, a little side note, when you connect the mic to the audio jack, some speakers will get disabled. Uh, mine happened to get disabled on my Galaxy Note 4. Um, and it's also recommended that uh, you turn your phone on airplane mode. That way you don't get notifications and no vibration or call as you're doing your record. All right, guys, so I have the microphone now installed into the phone. I'm going to go ahead and take a few steps back so you can hear the sound quality of the mic while it's installed on the phone. Okay, now with the magic of editing, I've been able to take off the mic and put it in my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk back and see what the sound quality is like without the microphone installed in my phone. So you're gonna find yourself wanting to shoot outside from time to time. And for me today, it's really windy and there's a lot of car noise. So you're gonna to wanna to use a windscreen. Luckily, with this particular microphone in the package, they do give you a windscreen. Pretty standard and basic. What I'm gonna do now is take the microphone and unplug it from my phone and walk back so you can hear the sound quality. And then put the microphone back in and walk back forward and hopefully there's a good difference in the sound quality. So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start walking back, uh, see what the sound quality is like, even with all the cars going. It does happen to be a beautiful day out today. Uh, it's a lot of sunlight and I feel pretty warm. I'm actually gonna display right now. So now I have the windscreen back on the mic. Okay, so now I have the microphone placed back into the phone and I wanna take a moment to answer a question and that is, will this mic fit with my case? I happen to have the OtterBox Defender Case Series. That's uh, one of the thickest ones that I've ever seen. So I'm pretty sure with any case you have for your iPhone or your Android, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, so overall the iMicrophone is pretty badass. I mean, the styling and size is awesome. Uh, right when you pick it up, you feel it instantly. It's a brass metal body. It's definitely gonna last, it's strong. It's not some little plastic piece. And uh, it does have RF shielding, preventing interference from feedback, uh, which makes for great recording and playback. But the sound recording is additive, so even though your voice gets louder, so will the background noise, especially if you set it on a hard surface. So it does pick up vibrations if you set it down on a table. 
Um, so you definitely want to watch out for that. Now, it's something I'm not going to recommend for podcasting, if that's what you're looking for. Highly recommend, if your budget is low, to stick with your iPhone or Samsung earbuds for now with a uh, built-in mic. And when you're ready for it, or if you're looking for it now, I highly recommend you get one of those USB condenser mics. A good one's going to run you about $100. Uh, they don't require a preamp, and you don't need a mixing board at all. The one last thing is it would have been nice to have gotten one of the fluffy windscreens, but that's probably asking for too much. Aside from all the minor details, it's a great mic.